All right, well, as we're starting to see frost pop up here in Maine, that means the growing season has come to an end. And farms across the state, they're celebrating another year of business at the Maine Harvest Festival in Bangor. Well, there is a lot to celebrate this year. Food producers have had to stare down some harsh economic realities. News Center Maine's Donovan Lynch reports. At the Maine Harvest Festival in Bangor, farmers taking stock of a complicated year. Quality, I think, is you know, is is good. A solid yield for Maine's key crops is meeting a high demand from customers, but profits aren't always reflecting that success. We have seen, you know, dramatic increases in input costs. Don Flannery with the Maine Potato Board says some farms have been pinched, not by low retail earnings, but by the rising costs of everything from fertilizer to energy bills, brought on in part by supply chain issues and inflation. Instead of that gradual increase on a line chart, you've seen it take a peak. A report from the U.S. Department of Agriculture shows that the money spent by farmers to raise crops and livestock reached its highest point ever in 2023. That burden creeping down from growers to food producers like Atu Schwan, who sells a blueberry jam down east. I feel like everything is just rising. That's just how it is right now. But when the higher prices weighing on businesses are coming to customers, they don't seem to mind. Business has been steady. I mean, um, we're still in a growth phase, I think. Carrie Whitcomb owns Springdale Farm Creamery in Waldo and has had to increase her cheese prices, but hasn't seen a decline in business. Still, with the economy's future uncertain, she's cautious. We just have to, you know, find a happy medium so that we're not pricing ourselves out. Now, as the Maine Harvest Festival wraps up behind me, the question remains of how much longer food producers and their customers can keep up with the high cost of doing business. In Bangor, Donovan Lynch, News Center, Maine.